talk with Jesus when I get home tonight. Gonna tell him all about my troubles, and I know he'll make them right. And I'll ask him to forgive me for the things that I've done wrong. Gonna have a little talk with Jesus tonight when I get home. Tyson Fury is perhaps the best boxer on the planet as of 2020. He became the second heavyweight after Muhammad Ali to hold the Ring Magazine title twice and the first heavyweight in history to have held this title together with four other belts. Much can be said about him, what he has done and some of the comments he has made over the years. But doesn't that apply to us all in the end? Aren't we all living in the same fallen world, with a constant battle between right and wrong, good and evil? Imagine having them published to the world almost every time you fall. It's been a fairly challenging time for him, shall we say. He is a committed Christian, which comes across uh, when I went to see him earlier today. And what about you being stripped of your belt? I mean, that, that, that's, uh, you must be very unhappy with that. What's your reaction to that? Jesus loves me, and he loves you too, and he loves you too. He loves these people in here, and he loves everybody in the world. All you've got to do is repent of your sins and you will be, get, be forgiven. And do you think you can win Spotty? Do you want to win Spotty? John 3.16, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him shall have eternal life and shall not perish. Okay, Tyson, uh, any, final, any final message to those people who, who have criticised you in recent... There's been a lot of criticism from people in signing petitions to the Scottish national people, to all sorts of people. Yes, yes, yes. Just give, us, just give us your take on it. Do you stand by your comment? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Okay, Tyson. The only way is through Jesus into heaven. That's all I can say. The A to Z, the Alpha, the Omega. Tyson. Jesus is the way, the key, and the only way into heaven. Like it or not, tactical trash talking during face-off and interviews is a part of the game. Boxing is more than just a sport. It's also about entertainment, but at the end of the days, it's often just two fathers in that ring, doing what they do best, doing their job, trying to put some bread on the table for their families, with or without our approval and support. As of this year, Tyson Fury is undefeated in the boxing ring, but the battle he has fought outside the ring of the years are even more impressive. Mental health problems, gaining a lot of weight, and being suicidal, struggles with alcohol, and snorting cocaine and using drugs. Tyson been through it all. And at one point he said that the only reason he did not kill himself was because despite these tough times, he did not let go of Jesus. Because I've been just found God recently. I've been going in and out of it for a long, long time since I've been 15, 16 years old. So I know right from wrong. You know, it's a lot worse for somebody like me who knows the truth rather than some random person who'd never heard the word before. Mm -hmm. You know, I know right from wrong, I know what I shouldn't be doing and what I should be doing, but yet I still keep doing the things that I shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. it's, been a, it's been a thing for me where I'm just like backsliding, it's called, I keep going yeah. forward and back and forward and back. And it, it's a time that it needs to stop. Fury's style of boxing is defensive. It's not a favourite style to watch among sports fans, but it's also hard not to be impressed by this six foot nine tall giant who moves around in the ring like a tactical lightweight boxer. And to make his whole story even more incredible, Tyson Fury was born three months premature, weighing only one pound. In 2018, following more than two years of inactivity, Tyson Fury challenged for the heavyweight title against Deontay Wilder and got an unbelievable draw, a match many things he won. He earned him comeback of the year from the ring and a numerous of other rewards. When he just now defeated Deontay Wilder in the rematch, he became the first man to ever defeat two champions who had over 10 defenses of their championship. You're trying to put words in my mouth and trying to make me out to be an evil person. I don't hate anybody. Let's make this one clear, loud and clear on Radio BBC 2. I don't hate anybody. My Lord and my Saviour, Jesus Christ, does not hate anybody. All he teaches is love. Now, the nasty streak in boxing, it is what it is, you know, I've got a killer instinct anyway. If I think I can get somebody out of there and knock them into next week, I will. Mm. So that's not going to affect me. What does make me strong knowing God is my faith, mm. because I believe if God is with me, who can be against me? As it says in the Bible, if God is with us, who can be against us? 
Now, I'm not saying God's for me one million percent because I do do sinful things every day, which we all do because we're all sinners. Basically, we're born into sin through sin. Mm. So we're going to be sinners. But we all have to remember that the ultimate price has already been paid. Right. All we have to do is believe and turn up. Right. Is Tyson Fury an admirable person for all of this? Yes. Is he also a role model for Christians? In some areas, yes. But is he the role model? No. He himself is following the role model. And that role model is Jesus Christ. God manifested in the flesh to save a fallen world in rebellion. But are you angry with people? Do you feel people aren't showing you All respect? I've got to say is, blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ. We have no hatred towards anybody, only love. You can come back and it can be done. Everybody out there who has the same problems that I've been suffering with, I did that for you guys. You know the truth. Everybody knows I won that fight. And if I can come back from where I come from, then you can do it too. So get up, get over it, and let's do it. Seek help and let's do it together as a team. I did it for you guys. You know, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to my Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. I said those who bring evil against me will not prosper. I said those who stand in the dark can never come into the light. All praise be to the one and only true God, Jesus Christ. What's the deal with Christians? Like the boxer Tyson Fury, actor Denzel Washington, Liverpool manager Jürgen Klopp, or James Tor, one of the world's top scientists, or any other Christians. There is not much difference between Christians and non-believers. The only difference is that the wrong acts and the bad thoughts that our consciousness convicts us about every day, as a witness about our sins towards a holy God, are forgiven for those who repent and trust in Jesus Christ. Jesus, the cross and the salvation is just foolishness to the ears of unbelievers. But the scripture also promised that those who sincerely repent of their sins and with an open heart seeks God, will find Him and be forgiven for all sins through the blood of Jesus Christ.